Twas the night before Christmas, when all through the house, not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse. The stockings were hung by the chimney with care, in hopes that St. Nicholas soon would be there. The children were nestled, all snug in their beds, while visions of sugar plums danced in their heads. And Mama in her kerchief, and I in my cap, had just settled down for a long winter's nap. When out on the lawn there arose such a clatter, I sprang from the bed to see what was the matter. Out through the window I saw such a flash, it blew open the shutters and tore down the sash. Wreckage in the breast of the new fallen snow gave the luster of midday all objects aglow. When what to my wondering eyes should appear but smouldering remains of eight tiny reindeer with a sleigh full of liquid so a fleshy and thick I knew from the red suit it must be Saint Nick broke the light barrier in courses they came facing g-forces and friction it was quite insane the burning and churning from speed and air friction with the speed and wind resistance they were dead in an instant on the top of the porch on the top of the wall they blaze away blaze away blaze away all as physics and rocket science are sure to describe if you move much faster than light you're bound to fry so into infernos the coursers they flew with the sleigh full of toys and saint nicholas too and then such a stinking i smelled a burning hoof the burning appendage lay there on my roof as i got out of bed to survey the grounds down the chimney came with an almighty sound sheer sonic vibrations had destroyed the house the foundations were shattered by the noise they had roused. A bundle of toys I had found in the back, and they looked semi-molten in his smouldering sack. His eyes best left unsaid, his stomach was slurry. Faster than sound is too much of a hurry. From his gaping dead mouth, spittle did flow. And I stood and I watched as the flames melted the snow. The stump of a pipe was lodged in his teeth, and the smoke, it encircled his head like a wreath. He had a smashed face and squashed little belly that oozed as he burned like a bowl full of jelly. He was gaping and burned, a barbecued elf, and I laughed at his hubris, in spite of myself. I think his left eye was popping out of his head. Soon he was twitching. He wasn't quite dead. He spoke not a word. I went straight to work, and took hold of his head, snapped his neck with a jerk. And laying his figure aside in the snow, I turned and threw up, if you must know. He burned in his sleigh, the fat started to whistle, and I turned from the smell of his burning gristle. But I see his face in the flames, each winter's night. And Merry Christmas to all, and to all a good night!